Okay, so here's a little extra help on your slope worksheet if you're absent or you just need a little bit of extra help. So the first section, I just want you to go through and just remember whether the slope is positive, negative, zero, or undefined. So on this first one, if the line is going up from left to right, it is positive. So I just want you to put positive. If you, we read from left to right, if it's going down, it would be negative. A flat straight line is a zero slope, and then the vertical line is an undefined slope. So that's just a reminder, and you will need to know that for your quiz. Okay, you will have a few problems where you have to find the slope counting your rise over run. Make sure you reduce it if it needs to be reduced. So let's look at this first one. From this point to this point, I always go from left, like left to right, because we read from left to right. So we're going to count how far we rise over how far we run. So I would rise one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I would run one, two, three, four. That does not reduce, so that would just be your answer. Now this line was going up, so it's a positive slope. Notice this line is going down, so it's going to be a negative answer. So make sure you put a negative sign there. So I'm going to go from this point to this point. I'm going to go down one, two, three, and then I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that reduces because three goes into nine. So if you need to know how to reduce, let me show you how to do that. So in your calculator, whoops. You do negative, and then that N over D button gives you the fraction, 3 over 9, hit enter, and it reduces it for you, so negative 1 third. <laughs> so hopefully that helps. If you see a horizontal line, do you remember what the slope is? That would be 0. If you see a vertical line, that slope is undefined. So that's how you do that first section. Okay, second section, slope formula. So you will need to write this down. So we always subtract the y's on the top and the x's on the bottom. Very important. I remember that y's rhymes with rise, and we, we can remember rise over run. So we subtract the y's on top and the x's on bottom. So remember your points are x comma y, x comma y. We have to subtract the y's on top. So my y numbers are 1 and 3, and we subtract the x's on bottom. So my x numbers are 1 and 4. So I would do 1 minus 3 over 1 minus 4. So whoops, we can type that in the calculator. So you can just do that n over d button, 1 minus 3 over 1 minus 4, hit enter, and it is 2 thirds. So that would be your slope. For that one. It makes me sad that all the right work like disappears, but okay, so let's look at another one. X comma y, x comma y. We always subtract the y's on top. 4 minus negative 2. The x is on bottom, negative 2 minus 10. So 4 minus negative 2, negative 2 minus 10. 4 minus negative 2, negative 2 minus 10. So 4 minus negative 2, negative 2 minus 10, hit enter, and it would be negative 1 half. So just remember to subtract the y's on top and the x's on bottom on that section. So hopefully that helps with those. Okay, the very last section we have to decide whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So if the slopes are exactly the same, they're parallel. If they're opposite reciprocals, like for example, if I have two-thirds positive, if I flip that upside down and change the sign, that would be perpendicular. If it's a whole number like four, four is the same as four over one. I hope you know that. So if I flip it upside down and change the sign, that would be perpendicular. Now some examples of neither would be like negative two and positive two. Those are not perpendicular because one of them has to flip upside down. So the, to negative 2 would have to be positive 1 half. 
So that would be a neither, okay? Or if they just have nothing to do with each other. If you have like seven thirds and one fourth or something, that would be neither. So if they're identical, exactly the same, it's parallel. If they're opposite reciprocals, it's perpendicular. If they're not either one, it's neither. Okay, so let's try, let's try this first one. So I've got to find the slope of both lines. So remember x comma y, x comma y. So we subtract the y's on top. 3 minus 6, negative 2 minus 2. So that's going to be my first one. 3 minus 6, negative 2 minus 2. Okay, 3 minus 6, negative 2 minus 2. Hit enter. Just keep that number in your calculator or write it down so you remember it. So 3 fourths. Okay, now let's do the second line. So my second line, x comma y, x comma y. Do you remember what to subtract on top? The y's. So 0 minus 3, negative 1 minus 3. 0 minus 3, negative 1 minus 3. So 0 minus 3, negative 1 minus 3. The slopes are exactly the same, so it would be parallel. So your answer on that one would be parallel. So I hope that helps. If you were absent or if you have any questions, just make sure to let me know. Thank you.